Good morning, everyone. No, it's afternoon now. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> We've been travelling since then. <laughs> it's been a long, long day. We've travelled a long, long it's way. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> right, let's start again. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, we've got to thank all of you for watching this. Yes, thank you. Thanks for keep following yeah. on, on our travels and. We've been having questions from you, asking us tips about things, which is really nice. Yeah. So then we know what we're doing is useful. You yeah. Know, we enjoy what we're doing, but we also want it to be useful for other people as well. Yeah, we want well. people to join in, join us on yeah. our... Yeah, uh... so thanks for that. And please ring the bell. Yeah, ring the bell. <laughs> what do we say? Ring the bell and subscribe. subscribe. Yeah, ring the bell and subscribe. Yeah, that'd be it's great. It's very helpful. <laughs> uh, we're on, today we're going, we're on our way down to uh, near Great Yarmouth. Yes, to a haven site called the Wild Duck. We've been here before. It's, it... a, it's a lovely site. It's in a woodland, so it's really nice and peaceful. We've, uh, today we're not, we've not bought the small car with us. No. Nope. We usually tow a smart car, which is called... Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> You've got to get all these names right, you know. <laughs> and a uh, little bit of interesting information for you. I'm noticing that we're getting about three to four miles per gallon better without towing the car. But that's not a lot, is it, really? It's not really you know, much, you is know, it? It's it's not, uh, no. To say you're towing, I, I don't know, probably the best part of a tonne behind you, and it's only costing you three or four... Uh, miles per gallon more. Yeah, I don't think that's. But you've said it's easier to drive, haven't you? you yeah, you feel. Yeah, yeah, although you know, everybody thinks you're driving a big motor home, and you've got a small car behind you. You can still feel it. Yeah. Very much so. You can feel it. You know, it's. Uh, you know, and you you pull in away power goes as well. You know, it's uh, the van can feel the weight of even a small smart car yeah. in my opinion. Now the A-frame system. We've never had it, have we? We don't know. We, we wouldn't know. We know nothing about it. We see, we see lots of people with A-frames and uh, look very interesting. We've seen them at the shows. I've spoke to a fellow. A fellow told me, now I'm not an expert, but he said that you have, there's a problem with reversing. You can't stop and reverse. He says you have no control. But we don't, you know, know. we don't know about it. You'd have to check that out. But uh, We've just been to Tesco to do some shopping and it was easier to park it without the car. Yeah, the yeah. It Even did, yeah. though some fool parked at the side of us in a van and we, yeah. couldn't, we couldn't get out. Yeah, we were well, all wedged did, in. Yeah, yeah, you did really well. We've yeah. uh, we've got to, uh, when we get to the site, we've run out of the problem now, though, of we've only got the van yeah, and we can't it, move out so It easy. is quite an isolated site, so yeah. we're going to have to take the van with us. Yeah. And like Henry's just saying, you realise you're going to have to put your coffee yeah, machine away sure, and you? everything packed away every time we go yeah. anywhere. So. These are all considerations when you, you know, when, when you go vanning what you want to do you know obviously it's a bit of a chore to tow a small car but when you get there a small car is a handy, wonderful yeah. thing to have isn't Still, it it's all part of the holiday isn't it yeah part of life's rich tapestry it is, isn't it? <laughs> it's uh yeah nothing's quite as simple as you think is no, it really no 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 yeah we're uh we'll see how we go and we're going to you know uh, let you know what's happening as, you, as we go along yeah, we're keep cheer you posted. Your, yeah keep you posted give you a little uh, look around an even site because i know a lot of people wouldn't consider that no. You know, they think, no. uh, for a start, in in midsummer, they're extremely expensive. Very expensive. I think, yeah. I, I think didn't we get a quote once of £80 a night? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. £80 a night. Obviously, we're not going to go on £80 a night. But in this time of year, they give you fantastic di discounts. And we're yeah. getting, what are we getting? It's um, super 50, pitch. £58 for the three nights. Yeah, a super, what they call a super uh, pitch. Euro pitch. I Euro, think is it? Called. Yeah, so it has... Lot of um, hard standing, electric, hard standing, electric and water. Yeah, and we'll walk, so, when we get to the when we get over there, we'll walk you around the site, show you what you get. Mm. But uh, well, there's an indoor swimming yeah. pool for a start. Yeah, you get there's a bonus. Pool. I mean, you I'll, can use as part of your pass to get in. On the small sites, uh, you wouldn't get that, would no, you at all? No, there are the, restaurants the, there. Yeah, as the well. restaurants, the sell fish and chips. Yeah. There's entertainment every night. Well, we'll show you. We'll show we'll you. We'll show you it's all around. You know, it's. Uh, a different facet to motoring, isn't yeah, it? I mean, we do like going sitting in. The, if you've seen our videos, we've, we've we like going sitting in the field in the middle of nowhere, don't we? Really, <laughs> but it, and we, but it's nice to have all these facilities. Nice Although we never use them. <laughs> We've been swimming once and Heather yeah. said, "Oh, it's too cold." Yeah. <laughs> we don't never use anything, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, it's nice to have them. If you if you ever did want to use them, it's nice to know that it's reassuring to know there, and you're not paid really any more money than. It. Well, I bought our swimming cozy, so you never. Know. Oh, you're joking! Oh, I have. I was, I was hoping you'd forgotten them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a drive down there now. We won't take you on the road. You know, 
and show you all the road there. <laughs> when we arrive, we'll we'll we'll, we'll show you when we'll, we get there. Yeah, we'll show you when we get there. See you in a little while. See you in a little while. Here we are arriving at uh, Haven's Wild Duck site, close to the Norfolk Broads. We're just going over now to get checked in and uh, get our pitch allotted to us. We'll catch up with you shortly. So we're all checked in now. Uh, we have to drive up towards the touring pitch to meet a very friendly lady called Debbie who is going to take us to our allocated pitch. If you look on the left, there's some of the facilities they have on. It's mainly uh, static vans on this side. Uh, quite interesting to walk around. We've got the van sales over on the right here. You can see over here this side. I'll try and <laughs> go quickly over the, over the sleeping policeman. They're the sales vans, aren't yeah. they? Lovely, well set outside, all wooded, little lakes. I can lakes. say, yeah, very much a woodland. You know, very uh, pretty. Yeah, well worth a bit, well worth a visit. We just if we drive through in, a, in front of us. You can see the facility area where they've got the uh, uh, swimming pools, they've got restaurants, restaurants chip shop, entertainment centre. Uh, all, all, all sort through of, there, you know, which we'll mini show golf, you. We can see there. Yeah, later on. We'll show you. We'll have a little walk around there, but. Uh, Sorry about these sleeping policemen, they're a bit, <laughs> they're a bit violent. <laughs> but a nice sight, if we just go around the corner now, I'm sure we'll, we'll see Debbie as we come around. Lots of staff around to help you out. Very, very helpful staff. Couldn't be better, couldn't have better people. No, greeted us with our Christian names as we yeah. arrived. It was lovely, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, but we're just going to see this lady then now. Here she is now, she's just coming out now, waving just to waving us. Just waving at us. We're just following Debbie now, we're in a little golf cart. She's going to take us round to the hard standing Euro pitch. Yeah, Debbie's I'm... a bit swift on the golf course. She golf is. <laughs> she's very quick. You know, she's a bit of a Formula One driver. See Debbie's. how busy it is. Yeah, I'm quite surprised to see how many people are on the site today. That's me. I don't think I've seen it this busy before. No, it's uh, quite packed, isn't it? Very right? popular. Very, very popular. Very popular site. Like I say, this time of year, very reasonable prices. Yeah. And there's our site round this way. We've come. We've we've come to here about. Is it? I think three this or, is the third time, time maybe. Yeah, oh, sorry. It's, uh, I didn't know they'd got hard standing pitches because we've always been on the grass before. So I'm interested to see where she's yeah. taking us to. I think we're going, uh, what was it called? We're going towards Great Yarmouth by the looks of it. <laughs> Debbie's, uh, she is a champion cross country golf jolly first. Whoa. So, uh, by the look of this mud though. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good job we are on hard standing. Yeah. The weather's not been as good today as we've been promised, but I mean, this is really nice, isn't it? Oh, this is, oh yeah. Yeah, nice. Uh, oh, look at this, the side. This is nice. Oh, this is lovely. Nice. That's just great, isn't it? And here's De Debbie's just going to show us which one we can which have. Which one we're having. And it's going to be one out. of these. Yeah. Here. Lovely little bridge. Perfect. <sighs> Morning, everyone. You join us at my favourite part of the day, breakfast. Just love it when we're camping, it's lovely. We've got a quite a lovely bright day ahead of us. Looks like there's not a cloud in the sky. Things are looking up. We're going to take you a walk around the site and show you where we pitched. See you in a while. Good morning, everyone. We've all breakfasted up and cleared away. Fans all nice and tidy. We thought we'd take you for a little walk around at the campsite where we are now. Well, this is the, uh, obviously the van on a nice hard standing pitch all connected up uh, with the electricity we've got water supply on the pitch we've got grey waste disposal over the back oh we'll show you in a sec we have uh, there's only about eight eight vans in this small wooded area love beautiful day who needs france on a day like today october Early October. The 9th. <laughs> October the 9th, yeah. <laughs> I almost knew the date then. October the 9th, England, Norfolk. And the weather is what, Diane? It's absolutely fantastic. Let's go and enjoy it. Yeah, we'll uh, have a little walk this way. We won't do too much. There, over there, we've got our own little toilet block. Little that, washroom, yeah, and what out, outdoor washing area that services this small, again, this small area that we're in. There's another pitch there, another hard sanding pitch, but quite a beautiful little site. Very nice. So going through this lovely woodland walk, you can see behind me the grass pitches for camp, 
campings. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lots of people on. Absolutely. Very busy, isn't it? Very busy place. Packed with people, isn't it, darling? Mm. What a lovely feel about it this morning with this yeah. dappled light through the trees. Autumn is so autumn. nice, isn't it? It's my favourite, one of my favourite uh, seasons. The only problem with autumn, I find, is you know winter's coming. I was going to say I, yeah. that. <laughs> but I do like autumn. Yeah. You know, and this this is a very pretty place. Well, lots of people, lots of nice, activity. Nice paths around everywhere, so it's easy to uh, to get to other areas. Of yeah. The camp. Lots of people for camping, but a nice country type feel about it, isn't it? Really. Yeah. But uh, yeah, nice place. This is the larger toilet block. It's got a laundrette, gents, ladies, Elson Point, all the things you want, but we won't go in there to review it. Other people do. If you know, you know. Little play pot for the kids. Nice place for the kids to come over for the week, weekend, fortnight. Play in these woods, have great fun. Over the way, there's a basketball and football pitch. Kids are on it already this morning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning. Now we're getting towards the static van area. Yeah, so if you know the Haven sites, they are known as holiday parks, aren't they? For their static homes and entertainment uh, areas as well. And we're just entering now one of the main areas where you can see some of the static homes behind me. And some of the shops are through this walk here that we're just about to go on. Yeah, we'll walk onto the shops now. This is the central core of the site, where all the shops and entertainment venues are. And just have a little look round. We've got a fish and chip shop, a mini market, a shop, a uh, swimming pool, a pub behind me. Everything you could possibly want for a nice stay. It's already getting quite busy as well. We've got mini golf on site and the swimming pool in the background. We're just saying how busy the swimming pool is behind us uh, and it's a really nice place to bring your grandchildren if you're of an age like Henry and I for the weekend. It'd be really lovely for them. Uh, lots of things to do uh, and making memories time if you can get in maybe at half term. We know it's busy at the moment but we're probably busy at half term as well but good place to come. I do believe a lot of people like us have been looking at the weather forecast and think I think so. Let's get yeah. down to that site this weekend so it's going far, to be nice. It is nice too. It is it's lovely. such a precious thing a bit of sunshine in England is isn't it? it is. Hello again. We've just had a wonderful day in uh, Great Yarmouth. Port the van on the on sea, the sea on the seafront. Right no on the seafront no problem at no all because it's the time of year not many people around. Perfect. Per absolutely perfect. Weather's been glorious for uh, October. October the 9th, did we agree <laughs> it's on? It's still the 9th. Yeah, still the 9th. <laughs> yeah, we've been down there all day. Yeah, it's, it's been, been glorious. So good. Well, so a nice good. walk up and down, had some fish and chips yeah. on the seafront. What more do you want? Absolutely. And uh, driving back, we've been talking about uh, towing, either towing or not towing. To, to tow, tow or, or not, not to, to tow. tow. <laughs> you know, what we think about it. For, tw uh, for 12 years, we had uh, motorhomes and we never... Never ever had a car. No, no, we never had a car. Because we were touring, really. Yeah. And then yeah. when we were down on the Mediterranean, we were close to the sea. So it was within yeah. walking distance of the sea where we parked. So it was never an issue. Yeah, yeah. but uh, nowadays a lot lot more people tow than they used to tow. Yeah, they do. You know, they're. Uh, it used to be basically the big RV, the American type RVs that they towed in the, back it. in the well, day. I think they started. Yeah, we it. think so anyway. But uh, <laughs> assu assuming that you've set up properly, you know, got all the... Uh, proper towing gear and all your, you know, all your weights and what, you know, yeah, you know, what do you call it? Your payloads. Your payloads all, yeah, all sorted sure that, that, you know, get all, all right that sorted checked. out. I would say towing is the thing to do nowadays, it is. really. Unless you're touring, which is what we've just been saying. <laughs> yeah. Because if we go to Scotland or Wales... Yeah, we wouldn't or, take it then, would we? We wouldn't take the car because we're moving around from yeah. day to day and you don't need it, do you? Yeah. If, if you went like down to Cornwall, I would think... You'd be, you'd be clever to park your, your van in a site off the coast yeah. and then radiate out of 
out of your central site in your little car, yeah, wouldn't you, really? Yeah, that would be better. Because yeah. moving these things around, these big motorhomes around in Cornwall is quite it's difficult. It's difficult because the narrow roads. So we, that's yeah. the definitive decision, well, that's then. The <laughs> it's, we would... But, but sometimes, <laughs> but sometimes we wouldn't. We're only saying this because purposely we didn't bring our tow car. To we this, made that know. decision. We were only here for three yeah. nights, and we said, "Well, let's leave it at home this, yeah, this time got, and see how we get on." And we've had to uh, pack all the stuff up this morning. Yeah, but we? that really wasn't an issue. Yeah. We, we had a laugh because uh, we put the, the, our chairs underneath the motor home last night after we'd finished. And I said this morning, for goodness sake, don't forget those chairs because we'll just drive straight yeah. over them. <laughs> that would have been a comical thing, wouldn't it, really? But, uh, sort of thing we do, that is. Yeah, but, sort of crazy thing we do. We sort of. But <laughs> towing is, is good. Towing is the modern thing to do, and I, I would think say. So, yeah. I uh, think so. Factor in having a, uh, a trailer like we have. Yeah, we like or, having a yeah. trailer. Yes, you have to drop the, the, the back down, yeah. the gate down, you have to fasten the car on. But looking at people putting an A-frame on their car, it is as much faster. Yeah, we've, yeah, we've, yeah, we're looking at a fella on the uh, internet and yeah. he was putting his A-frame on. It was yeah. just a load of, just the same. It's it's troublesome. A load of really. trouble. You yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was really, but it's troublesome like, like a trailer is. Yeah. Bonus about a trailer is though, uh, you've always got a trailer, haven't you? Yeah. You know, I've got a tra yes. I've got a trailer that my smart car is purposely built for. Yes. But when the smart car's not being used, I've also got a little Land Rover thing, and uh, I use it as a tra you know a trailer yes. for moving. I'm a great eBayer, and I'm always out and about buying things here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> and I fetch all sorts of yeah. it, don't I really? Yeah. But one tip: if you do get a trailer, very very important tip. This one is. Don't tell your kids you've got. A, well, you, let's say <laughs> you're an adult or anybody, your adult, adult children, you've got a trailer because it'll be, Dad, Dad, <laughs> can you fetch me my wardrobe, Dad? Sally's got a bed and she can't get it out of. She bought a bed and she got it for next to nothing off eBay. Can you fetch it for her? <laughs> you know, you're all, you're like a delivery man. You soon become very useful. Yeah, when very, got very. A yeah. So don't tell anybody you've got a trailer. But that's that's what go. we think about. Yeah, towing, isn't towing, it? Yeah. You know, towing's a great As thing. Usual, we don't really have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> have you got that about us so far? <laughs> We're not experts oh. at anything and we just have opinions, really. Yeah. So, okay. happy motoring. Happy motoring and cheers. <laughs>